Uh, holy salute, brothers and sisters in Christ. If you don't know Christ, I, you know, suggest that uh, you look at the signs of the times of the Bible. Time's running out. But uh, as you know, most of you know, uh, schools started back today across of America. And I sort of have a request in the Spirit of God that we pray that there are no school shootings, that we pray that the God of the Bible will return back to school, that we pray for protection for kids and teachers, that, you know, there'll be no casualties or fatalities this year regarding um, rampage killers or spree killers or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. The Bible calls it a devil spirit, a spirit of demonic forces. The Bible says that the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus came to earth as a God-man, the spirit of God in the flesh, the only begotten son, of Father God and uh, John 316 says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believeth in him would not perish but have everlasting life so this is the promised life after this life and if we don't believe on Christ the Bible says that we will die a second death so it's something to think about just something to pray about if you don't know Jesus says your personal Lord and Savior. You could get to know him. You call upon his name anywhere. It don't have to be a church or a church altar. I got saved in my apartment. And the Lord spoke to me and came to me. And I've shared many intimate moments with Jesus Christ in the comfort of my home. Some of the, some of the best testimonies I have are just being me and him. Wasn't a bunch of people around in the church or nothing. It feels good. Uh, I, I don't forsake the assembly of God either, you know, brothers and sisters. Because the Bible says, how can you love um, God who you have not seen? You hate your brother who you have seen. And don't. And the Bible says, don't forsake the assembly. But I sort of said all that to say this. Uh, I think, you know, we're, be, we're given the, the keys of the kingdom because Jesus conquered death, hell, and the grave. And by the power of prayer, we have the authority in the name of Jesus Christ to pray these things that we see on the face of the earth away. Um, so these school shootings and the school shooters, we need to be praying right now. We don't need to pray the day it happens or the day after it happens. We need to start praying right now. And that's what prophecy is. Um prayer of intercession is the prayer before the thing that, that we may know this coming happens. If we're tipped off by the spirit, if we have a discernment spirit, if we have a prophecy spirit, we don't start praying the day of or the day after. We start praying or speaking the day before or the thing comes. Um, I tell you before it come that way, when it come, you will believe I am he, Jesus said. But much to pray about these last days, perilous times, beginning of sorrows, holy salute to the Holy Club. I'm trying to bring the Holy Club back, I'm trying to bring the Holy Club back, you know, live holy, for I am holy. Um, just like John Wesley had the Holy Club, they started it up. But before, before John Wesley, the 12 apostles had a Holy Club, amen. So I'm trying to, you know, be a force of being an example of trying my best to live righteous and holy as Jesus would have me live, not as I would have me live, not as somebody else would have me live. I don't want to hear we're all sinners. I don't want to hear that, you know, um, we're going to sin no matter what. You know what? I'll cross that bridge if I get there. But I'm not going to say that I'm going to go sin and I haven't sinned yet. 
and and you know i'm going to try my best to live holy and righteous like jesus called me to go and sin no more and that's what i'm trying to do praise god and there's power there's power in it and and there's a difference and there's a set apart and a calling in um in your ministry if you do that the things that the bible speaks of hallelujah so i'm trying to bring back the holy club and the holiness and the righteousness across the land for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, remember uh, to pray for schools, children, teachers. Pray for them like they were your children. Pray for the teachers like if they were your friend or family. Remember that in Jesus' name. This will probably be the final video of the evening unless I feel compelled to make another one or the Lord gives me another revelation knowledge. Salute one more time. One, two, three. In Jesus' name, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Help us.